<laughs> okay, prepositions of time. Okay, so we know these ones, don't we? Yes. There are happy prepositions and we can do a happy dance. Yeah, yeah. And we know that this is über das Haus or über dem Haus and die Wand and der Wand. And it, just, it depends on whether the background changes, yes? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, some of them get used in time. And when they get used in time, they're always row three. Uh huh. Okay. okay. So, Uber, we've seen Uber, we can use it like over the weekend or over the summer. Mm -hmm. Uber dem <laughs> Uber dem Sommer. Mm -hmm. And can be used like on this day, am tag. Wir können uns am Dienstag sehen. Wir können uns am Dienstag sehen on Tuesday. This is am. Am is an dem, isn't it? Dem. Yeah. An dem. It's contracted. Im is in January. Dem. Exactly yeah. the same as you would use it in English. For, we saw before, was like in front of. And time, it means ago. Oh. Years ago. But it goes at the beginning of the expression and not at the end. For zwei Jahren. Okay. Zwischen. Zwischen is row three as well. It's zwischen einer Stunde und zwei Stunden. Yeah. So Stunden is plural. But einer is one. And yeah. it's row three, one, feminine. Eine Stunde. Zwischen einem und zwei Tagen. Oh, okay. That's cool. Also, uh, so the Tag is uh, masculine and Stunde is feminine, yes? And when, uh, when we are uh, beginning with, uh, okay, yeah. it's zwischen einer und zwei, aha, okay. Yeah. So this einer, um, is to the Stunde. That's right. Okay. This winds okay. up with plural because it's between one and two of them. Mm -hmm. Uber and in for, we've seen. These ones, some other prepositions used in space. Um, he's standing around the corner. <coughs> Where is he? Around the corner. Around the corner. Around. There's no idea of movement. Yeah. But here he goes around the corner. Er geht um die Ecke herum. Herum is like giving us movement. Okay. Gegen is against. Okay. Something is against something else. So, the ladder steht gegen die Mauer. It's standing against, the ladder is standing against the wall, up to the border. And nach der Park kommt nach dem Laden. The park is after the store. So, no. those are how they're used in, in space, but how are they used in time? Well, in time, um, Act Uhr is at eight o'clock. Gegen vier Uhr is around four o'clock. Oh. Mm -hmm. This can also be etwa. Etwa is around. Gegen. Beast seven or no zoo. This is like uh, beast den Sonnenaufgang, the sunrise. Beast by the sunrise. By sunrise. 
by sunrise. And this is after sunset. Nachdem, Sonnenuntergang. Nach is after is a row three preposition. Bis is a row two preposition. It's always row two. Bis is always row two. Okay. Gegen. Well, it, it doesn't come into it. Gegen Mitternacht. Gegen is row two. But it doesn't matter here. And oh my, I believe is also row two. Ah, okay. So like a span of time from sieben bis neun. Okay. From seven until nine. Okay. Not nine, bis, bis sieben, bis neun. Ab is from this point onward. Ab Montag. You see that like in advertising. Okay. It says from Montag, from, so from this point onwards, this is true. Ab Montag. And then this, Zeit. So in English, we have since or for, since Monday or for three days. Mm -hmm. German is just Zeit. Zeit Montag or Zeit drei Tagen. They don't, there's no, it's just Zeit. Okay. We've been working on the project for two weeks. We are arbeiten an dieses project seit zwei Wochen, since two weeks. So when you hear Germans saying since two weeks, you think, well, that's not right. But it is right as a direct translation from German. Mm -hmm. It's hardly worth making a fuss about it. For, if you want to say how long something went on for, Oh, like th this side thing, it has to yeah. it has to be true now. It's still true. Okay, it's still going on. Still going on. <coughs> it's up to the current moment. Okay. This for a lang, a unit of time plus lang, or four plus a unit of time. I've I've worked there for five years. I've worked there for five years. I have five years long da gearbeitet, or I have four five years dort gearbeitet. I think that mm -hmm. sounds classier. Five years long. Four is good for spans of time in the past that are now finished, or spans of time in the future that are yet to come. Morgen gehe ich für zwei Wochen nach Spanien. I'm going today for this amount of time to this place. Okay. Uh, time before place in German. Time comes before place. Oh, okay. where in, in English it's place before time. In English it's uh, tomorrow I'm going to Spain for two weeks. Yeah. Time goes at the end, but in German the time comes before the place uh, some other stuff in in yeah we're going in February we're again in February or we're again in zwei Wochen in zwei Wochen von jetzt gehen wir yeah. in uh... yeah in two weeks we're going in two weeks you, yeah man sagt das auch Auf English, auf English. Okay. Auf Deutsch auch. Vor we've seen, that's a go. Nach bis zum Ab aus aus. Well, that one. This building dates from 1900. Dieses Gebäude ist aus dem Jahr 1900. Aus is out of. You saw that in the correction that you did for your story. There's a couple interesting things here there's an exercise prepositions of time mm -hmm. i'll send you that i'll just say something about this like through and for her through 
when it's an ad, when it's a, I guess it's an adverb. Yeah, it's an adverb. It means I used to, or I, I used to do it. Ich habe früher die Klarinette gespielt. I used to play that clarinet. Or, but if it's if you want to say before, okay, that I played earlier. Ich habe vorher gespielt. I played early. That's earlier. You think that that's earlier because it looks like earlier, doesn't it? Yeah. But that's earlier. This is used to. Unless it's used as an adjective. Here it's der frühe Zug. That's the earlier train. So it, is, it does mean earlier when it's an adjective. But it doesn't mean earlier when it's an adverb. Yeah, classic. <laughs> Here are some exercises to do. I think that that's enough of this topic for now. Let's. So, uh, Peter, are you going to send us this uh, 